Now, at this point, we all know one of the best things about Deadpool is him breaking the fourth wall. Honestly, that is his first ability before he gets his healing factor. And I think it's the most unique trait of any character in anything. Like the fact that he knows that he's in a particular medium, whether he's in a TV show, in a movie, in a game, in a comic, in an advertisement, it's just so freaking insane and amazing. And of course, in this Deadpool Wolverine movie, we have numerous times, numerous scenes where he just keeps breaking the fourth wall. And so this video is about all of it, all those scenes. I've already made part one, which which is on the channel i do hope you check that one out before this one so if you don't see scenes in here that you expect then that is in the first part plus i've done other videos on the movie so i do hope you check those ones out as well now let's get to this one retired <laughs> retarded retired i'm already in the void i'm not trying to get cancelled again i don't like you you never did Oh my god! Oh my god, he's gonna say it! Ah. Oh my god, he's gonna say it! Say what? Avengers! Raymond! Sorry, what now? Raymond! Let's give the people what they came for! Let's go. Get your special sock out, nerds. It's gonna get good. To be clear, I'm not proud of any of this. The wanton violence, the whiff of It isn't who I am. It isn't who I want to be. Superhero landing. Superhero landing. She gonna do a superhero landing. Wait for it! Woo! Superhero landing! Superhero landing coming up. Ah, oh, fuck. Nice. Like you. And you. What does the annihilating? Eliath. Eliath is in this thing? From Loki season one, episode five? No, no, no. With the whole multiverse thing. It's not great. It's just been missed. After miss, after miss. Oh, ableism, great. That's not gonna go over well with the woke mob. Now you're here, oh well, you're too late, it's all over. Not yet, it's not. No, 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 we're very close. Home stretch, folks, I promise. Time! You look ridiculous. People have waited decades for this fight. It's not gonna be easy. Maybe nice. I didn't want it to come to this. Either you help us, or my friend here is gonna sing the entire second act of Music Man with zero warm-up. Certain words creeping into his conversation, words like... Swell. Stop! Let's give it a beat for the extras to clear. Go, 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 go. He didn't care to find me. Ugh, Gen Z and their trauma bragging! Can't you just stuff it down, turn it into accomplishment or cancer like the rest of us? Where the hell are we? I don't know. Looks kind of Mad Maxi. But that would be IP infringement, right? F***ing jokes. Behold! The head of your precious queen, Furiosa! I am the notorious Furiosa! You look like the superhero version of Hawkeye. The name's Remy Labo. Le Diable Blanc. But you can call me the Gambit. You are so mean! My brain could taste your fingers and they tasted like hate. And where in God's name is the intimacy coordinator? You want me to do it? No, I'll do it. I have her neck right here. It's really no problem. You'll screw it up. Oh, come on, Mr. PG-13, except the last one. Get your mind out of my pants. I'm telling Blake. New rules. I talk now. Well, that's going to be very hard on the audience. Shut the f up! Holy sh you save the good stuff for special occasions? Killing mostly. What's the wind resistance on those handles? <laughs> How about now? The mask is really intimidating, huh? It's like Batman, except he can move his neck. Okay, look, look, look. How much do you weigh? We day. <laughs> I'm Batman. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go yourself. 
We don't be knowing that it ain't coming off without that dome gonna come off with it. I'm so sorry, beautiful. I want this to be gentle. Who is your dialect coach? The Minions? Minions! Et papa outi la maquina! Yippi kaye la popos! Yaba kassi les popos! Pompe les popos! Look at that, yeah. See them big um hands come close. Ain't not a one again up inside that. What Gambit's trying to say is getting Juggernaut's helmet ain't gonna be easy. I'm just making stuff up with this. Yes, I feel like we were missing critical exposition here. Dated infotainment system. When Honda saw that untreated chlamydia was making a comeback, they invented the Honda Odyssey to compete. You're right, one of us would have been killed. But you put a Deadpool and a Wolverine together, make them hold hands while listening to Madonna? Indestructible, mother Legacy. Yes! Yes! Let this man cook! This is what I'm talking about. Big slow motion fights, sad music, everybody working together. Who knows if you live or die, that sort of thing. Come on! Yeah, I blew it. After all that, the only thing they're gonna remember is that god off of this mount! I waited a long time for this team up. You know? You've got that, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I have an issue somewhere. I have a few uh, of yours. I'm, yeah, so you usually I cut the stuff. eyes out and the mouth. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's just me. That's just how I roll, so, you know. And this one. In case the other fell off. I can't be there. There'll be sun. Happy birthday. Have a great night. Let the dogs out. Woo! 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 Let them out. No one knows. No one ever solved that mystery. All right. Okay. I knew. You know, the Avengers discovered Swarma. They'd be lucky to have you. You don't need to be Marvel Jesus to do it. You just need to open your eyes and look around. And if you're lucky, you'll find a few friends. Now that's it for the scenes. From making pop culture references to making fun of facts, Disney, referencing real life stuff, things related to Hugh Jackman himself, and to the MCU as a whole, it is always fun to watch. And Ryan Reynolds just does it so well. And it also blends in seamlessly into the story. It's just one integral and just important part of the, the entire movie where if you don't have it in there, I don't think the movie will ever be the same. And it's the same for the previous two movies. The jokes that he was able to get away with in this movie is just it's crazy crazy because he's at disney right now and you know how they like to keep their things pg-13 and so the fact that they felt confident and trusted ryan reynolds and sean levy enough for them to write all these things <laughs> into the movie like that <laughs> i'm really happy and proud that they now understand that fans have been wanting this for years for them to cross that line and give us that r-rated stuff even if it's not at the level of Deadpool. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you thought of all these scenes. As I said before in the intro, I've already done part one. So some of the scenes that you don't see in here, those are in the you know the other part. I do hope you check that one out and before this one or whichever way that you you know you want to watch your videos. But I also have other videos that I've done on the movie, like the scenes of the more than cameo characters, among others. That's a big video that I did on all the mutants in every X-Men movie and TV show and the abilities, of course. So I hope you check that one out as well. Leave a like for the video and share if you did enjoy it. It does help the video out. And subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss new videos as well. As always, Nerdy Sage here. See you guys in the next one.